Every day, I see society bashing men. I've grown tired of standing on the sidelines and doing nothing. I refuse to let the media and these so-called manliness magazines define masculinity. This is why I created a path to manliness. This is why I wrote the handbook for men who are lost in reclaiming manhood. My name is Ryan Fellman, and this is the first episode of the Path to Manliness podcast. I am here to help men live more fulfilling lives by finding their mission. So, how do men find more fulfilling lives in today's decadent age? Now, first thing I want to get out of the way is if you're looking for some form of a get-rich-quick scheme or some pickup artist techniques on meeting women, I'm sorry to say you found the wrong podcast. Because that's not what this podcast is about. It's not what Path to Manliness is about. And frankly, I just have no interest in doing any of that. Not to mention there are other people already taking up that mantle. So let's get back to focusing on how men can better themselves. How they can better their lives. They can live honorable lives. They can focus on their own self-improvement. On build up a side hustle. On just getting better at their own job, getting back in shape. Now, if that sort of thing is interest to you, then you're going to like this podcast and you're going to like the uh, subsequent episodes following. <clears throat> now, if you're like me, you may have noticed that a lot of these typically male magazines and websites have abandoned their core philosophies and beliefs and have pursued more consumerist and feminized ideals. Playboy, for instance, seems to have died with Hugh Hefner. And believe it or not, I'm not that old. I'm only 31. But back in the day, Playboy used to be a pretty reputable source for manliness and at least stuff of men's interest. Uh, It sounds like a cliche, but people actually did read the articles back when they were good. I have not looked at one of these in years so i can't say what it's like now but overall the the quality has been declining rolling stone is another one it's a former show of itself it uh has been taken by political means and i don't mean to get political at all on this but it's completely biased and is a form is a shell of its former self and then <laughs> Last of all, GQ and Esquire. Esquire is another one that's gone political. GQ wants men to start wearing makeup. So, Gentlemen's Quarterly seems to have abandoned the idea of becoming gentlemanly. And if these are the only available resources for young men and boys trying to find their, their way in this life, then someone needs to step up and someone needs to reclaim masculinity for what it's meant to be. I am but a piece of that, of that new, new blood coming in, reclaiming masculinity and showing people how to find the path, the right path. And that path is, uh, filling this void in the world of masculinity and self-improvement. The modern man is frustrated with modern society and he has no role models. They try to fit in by being consumers and corporate monkeys. The world of HR has transformed the way men behave. It has conditioned men, especially in the corporate setting, but everywhere, to adhere to strict rules, rules set forth by HR, set forth by women. Any space that is for man has been attacked. Look at Gamergate, what it did to the video game world. Look at the state of movies and television right now. You can't turn on a a sitcom or any kind of a TV show and expect to find a a reasonable male role model in these average shows. In it, the man is a fumbling, fat, lazy sloth of a man, a doofus who's incapable of doing anything, who's constantly berated by his wife. And this sets a tone. Men grow up listening to this and they think that it's normal. And they accept it. They'll say it's just TV, but it shapes the culture. 
Men need to understand that real life need not be like this. And if your life is this way, you need to reevaluate it. You need to reclaim your masculinity. Now, there's a reason why this is happening. 70% of all consumer decisions are made by the woman of the house. So it goes without saying that the advertisers and corporations have something to gain by making a more feminized society. If they can make men more like women, they can better sell to them. Modern man today has become fat and lazy. He is addicted to video games and mindless consumption. He worships doctors while ignoring his nutrition and exercise. Fact is, most of you don't need to go see a doctor that often. You need to start exercising. You need to start drinking water and less beer. And I know you think it's masculine or manly to drink beer, but it's not. We'll get into that later in other episodes. But if you can do one thing to change your weight, stop drinking beer. You will be stunned at how much weight you can lose. I took a whole 30 days off in January of this year, and I lost 7 pounds, so don't tell me this doesn't work. It works. The modern man loves thoughts online, but he fears social interaction. They hide behind the keyboard, lusting after these Instagram <clears throat> models that parade around in ridiculous outfits for for your attention in this nouveau, this neo form of strip clubs online where there's no actual interaction. It's all digital and fake, and disgusting. And yet these same men, they're so ashamed of themselves, so out of shape, and so awkward socially, they don't know how to talk to women in the real world. And none of this is helping them. They need to get out and start talking to people, not just women, but just talking to people and getting comfortable and understanding social dynamics. And if you need help with that, I know the, pers the perfect person that we can have on this podcast to discuss social dynamics and how to act more natural in conversation and comfortable. It's time for a revolution in modern masculinity. The reason that there is a crisis of masculinity in this country is obvious. Obvious to me, at least. The reason why young men are struggling with suicide and living a decent life is because we have built a society that simultaneously depends on men while constantly bashing them for who they are. I say we reclaim our masculinity. In a society that wants to cut your balls off and will condition you to behave, you need to reclaim your manhood. First and foremost, men need to take control of their health and maintain habits that promote fitness. Everything in your life stems from your ability to maintain your health. Gaining five pounds every year may not sound like much, but it is the path to obesity in an early grave. As you get older, you will see all of your friends on social media, they'll gain the five pounds every holiday. And they'll do it again and again. And they'll resolve to lose the weight, but they won't. And after a few years, it adds up. And suddenly, that little pooch becomes a big old beer belly. And they're rocking the dad bod. Don't let this become you. Find your tribe that will support you in your mission. You need a network of men that will keep you active, motivated, and healthy. Do you want to meet up with your friends at the bar every weekend? Or do you want people that will hold you accountable and ask you if you're going to go run at the race, do a 5K, run on trails, just running downtown, just having someone that will remind you to stay healthy and to keep in good shape will inspire you to live a better life. The same way those friends that keep asking you at the bar will keep you living a mediocre life. Now, I'm not saying you have to give up alcohol entirely. Nuance here. And moderation in all things, including moderation. But these are things that are holding you back and you know it. One of the most essential tips I have for you, something that has helped me maintain my sanity in a, a life fraught with challenges and adversity, has been writing. I cannot recommend this highly enough. Start writing every day. It may sound 
difficult and you may say you're not a writer. Well, everyone is not a writer until they start writing. That's all you got to do is just get started. And if you're surprised at the suggestion, well, writing is a lot more masculine than you might first think. Think of the greatest emperor of Rome, Marcus Aurelius. He would write every single day. And his book, The Meditations, is a constant source of inspiration for me and other men like me. And if you haven't read it, be sure to pick yourself up a copy. Because it is fantastic, timeless advice. And in my own words, I'd say it's the Bible of Stoicism. Now, next you need to create a list of goals. Now, if you ever find yourself feeling rudderless in your life, you feel like you don't have any direction, that's why I recommend that you write to gain a sense of order in the chaos of your life. This will help you create a vision for the perfect life. Write down a list of goals you want to achieve and work towards making your dreams a reality. Next, and this complements the writing, is to read books daily. Every day. In the land of distraction, the man of focus is king. Start reading nonfiction, you will become a modern day superhero. Most people do not read, and it's getting worse. They read online, they read Twitter and Facebook, but they don't read books. Few men read books, and books are the secret to becoming wise, well informed, and becoming the most interesting man in the world. Be ruthless with your diet. Look at the men around you. They sit on the couch every week. They pound beers, they eat junk food, processed food, and they rarely work out. If you want the body of a Greek god, stick to a paleo diet. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'll keep it simple. Eat food that Fred Flintstone would eat. If you do this, you will watch your physique improve. Now we can expand on that later, but essentially stick to meats, nuts, vegetables, stay away from seed oils, stay away from overly processed food, stick to drinking water. It's more simple than you think. Shop around the outside of the grocery store. This next one is always something that's hard for people to understand because they don't want to give this one up, but it's important. Turn off the video games. They are making you fat and uninteresting, and they are a constant time waster and you know this but you don't want to give them up and before you get too upset about this I recommend just taking 30 days take a break and see how you feel see how much you miss them remember that scene in Fight Club where Ed Norton's walking away from his corporate life in the condo and he says after a month I didn't miss television I promise you you'll feel the same way and you'll wonder why you wasted so many time so many hours on the Xbox on the PlayStation when you could have been leveling up your life. And that's what I'm here to help you do. These video games, they give you a false sense of achievement. They make you feel like you're accomplished when you're really, you're doing nothing in the real world. There are too many adventures in this real world to waste time in a virtual one. Go hiking, go explore this beautiful world. Start writing that book you always talk about. If I can do this, you can do this. Maybe you wanna learn how to work on cars Maybe you want to learn a new language. These are all things that you can do if you stop letting video games hold you back. Next, you need to challenge yourself. Men need to be challenged and modern life is getting soft and we are running out of challenges and it's driving many of us insane. It's, it's causing social anxiety, it's causing depression. It's one of the greatest ailments of our time. With dedication, sacrifice, and persistent effort, you will be amazed what you can do in a year's time not even that i spent almost a whole year last year losing 25 pounds now i'm going to lose another 20 here as i train for a half marathon and i'm going to do it in two months i'm already down five and i'm only a weekend less than that if i can do this in two months you can do this in six months or a year do not let fear paralyze you from achieving greatness believe in yourself and smash through all your obstacles. Welcome to the Path to Manliness podcast. This is where men reclaim their lives. It is here 
where we remind each other how to be men, to learn how to be gentlemen, to reclaim our manhood. This is just the intro. This is just getting started. We're going to build from this here. We're going to have guests on the show, and it's going to grow. If you want to learn how to attack your life with fiery passion, how to conquer your life like a Viking, learn skills every man should know, to remember that you should be proud to be a man. If you're listening to this, then you are on the path to manliness. Now, if you like this, make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure you um, follow me on Twitter. I spend a lot of time posting free insight like this, discussing manliness. 6,000 followers can't be wrong, right? Also, I write near daily emails where I help men on their journey that is their lives. We are a tribal species, and we need to work together to build each other up to build better lives. Let me help you. If you seek a healthier lifestyle, if you want to make money online, if you want to better understand women, if you just want to better yourself and reclaim masculinity in this feminized society, then this is your podcast. This is the path to manliness. Ryan Feldman, thanks for listening. Signing off. If you enjoyed this episode of the Path to Manliness podcast, go ahead and write us a review. That will help the podcast reach more young men who need direction and purpose in their life. And if you would like to help support future episodes of the Path to Manliness podcast and help keep it ad-free, you can donate on anchor.fm slash path to manliness. And thank you for listening. And remember, stay on the path. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.